welcome back to my channel and another video and another video using this baby this has literally got to be one of the best if not the best hair tools on the market i mean i think the results speak for themselves and i'm a strong believer that actions speak louder than words so here we are here's the finished look i am going to show you today how to create this look and a few tips and tricks along the way of how to use the Dyson Air app. Hopefully this will persuade you if you've been sat on the fence about whether you want to get one um, or if you are struggling to use your Air app already then hopefully this will be helpful to show you some tips and tricks of how to use yours and how you can get curls like this that will last. I promise you they will last as long as you are using the device correctly. So hopefully this video will be helpful to many of you um, and if you've clicked on this video then I'm sure you are interested in the Air app. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the video and show you how I use the Dyson Air app. Sorry if that transition is a little bit scary but I'm just going to get into showing you how I use the device now. So my hair is freshly washed and it has been air drying for about an hour so the top is still pretty damp but the ends are getting more dry. I have already got two videos up on my channel about the Dyson Air app and what you get. There's a first impressions video and then there is a one month owning the Dyson Air app video so that you can go and check out the actual device, what you get and um, what each setting means um, over on them videos. So many people over on my Instagram ask me how I style my hair and 99% of the time it's with the Dyson Air app. I use it once to two times a week, um, mainly just on the days that I wash my hair and as soon as it's been washed I then go straight in with a blow dry. On the days that I haven't washed my hair I sometimes use a spray bottle where I just dampen the ends of my hair um, and then blow dry it as normal. It just basically saves me having to get in the shower and wash all my hair um, because for me with long thick hair that is a task let me tell you it's a task it's like a half a day operation to wash my hair my hair's current damp state is too damp for the air app to work and the actual like curling tool so one of the attachments that you get is this drying attachment and i have said this in previous videos but this is a pre-styling dryer it's not called a hair dryer because it's 20 percent less powerful than the actual dyson hair dryer and therefore they can't market it as a hair dryer because it's less powerful and they won't want to like let people down but this is the most powerful hair dryer i've ever used especially for the size it's very lightweight um it's very small um normally you have like huge hair dryers don't you and they're a right faff to get around so it's very compact so that's a great tool i find I find it's like a really fine line between your hair being damp enough for the Dyson Air up to work to its optimum because it is ultimately a hot air stylus so your hair does need to be damp to get the best style but it's a fine line between having it at that optimum dampness to then it being too damp because the air up then struggles to like pick the hair up um, and also if it's too damp you won't be able to dry it and especially if you've got longer thicker hair it won't dry in the time and it ends up being still a little bit damp after it's been curled and that's when you find that your curls drop quicker because they're too heavy so basically i i can't really put a percentage on it but your hair needs to be almost dry but still with a tiny bit of moisture in it that's how i find it works the best so the bottom of my hair is probably just about right it's um almost dry but the tops of my hair and the roots here they're far too wet so you take the pre-styling dryer and literally just turn it on waft it over my hair give it a few seconds um to do some drying magic So once the hair is pretty much dry, just a little bit of moisture left in it, now you need to section your hair. Now even for me with quite long thick hair, I only do it in two sections. So at first I did it in three, but now I can do it in two, it's much quicker. So you literally just take a small section of hair at the top and then you can either like put a scrunchie in it or a little clip or something and just secure it like that and then you've got like the bottom layer of hair here these are the only two things that i use in addition to the styling kit so the first is a tangle teaser um you can either get a brushed one or a comb one or a wet brush or something like that but something that is 
wide combed and that's going to be good for wet or damp hair if you're using a normal brush it will tug too much on your hair and you'll end up pulling out more hair than you need to so get something that is gentle like a tangle teaser or a wet brush or even a comb but i find that in the initial stages it's easier to do it with a brush and then i also have a wide tooth comb and i use this post styling to help give me that help give me them glam waves so i'll show you that when i get to that point but they're the two things that i think that you need in addition to the actual air wrap so first of all take your brush or your wet brush or whatever you're using and make sure the hair really nicely brushed through like you can tell the difference between the side that's been brushed and the side that hasn't you just don't want any knots if you have knots in your hair then the dyson air wrap isn't going to work to its optimum potential i've already used like heat protecting products on my hair um, you can see the products that i use on my hair in another video that i filmed which is how to get your hair in the best condition that it's ever been in the best condition of your life um, so i've spoken about products over there basically if i sit and speak about products now this video is just going to be literally hours long so air wrap is an incredibly clever tool actually look that it monitors the heat 40 times a second which is mind-blowing so every second it checks the heat 40 times to make sure that it's not going above a temperature that's going to be too damaging for your hair i pretty much always use the curling barrels because it comes with other attachments like the big bristly brush i don't find this gives me a great blow dry but this is perfect for like fringes or bangs i know loads of people are getting curtain bangs at the minute so this is perfect for that there's also two variations of smoothing brushes one is for thinner hair and one is for thicker hair um but i personally just don't get a lot of use out of this because i love the bouncy blow dry look there's two sets of curling barrels that you get in this set which is the complete long the first are the 40 millimeters. Now I find with these that they give a very loose wave. Curl is beautiful when it's first done, but it really doesn't last as long as the other ones. If you're going on a night out, then if you like that almost straight hair with a bit of a bend flick in the bottom, then these work really well. 99% of the time I use the thinner barrels. So these are the 30 millimeter barrels. I also get asked all the time whether I have the long or the short set. These are the long barrels. So if you've already got a Dyson air wrap, you can purchase these in addition to your complete set. Like they fit on every Dyson air wrap device. So you can just buy these. I think they're 50 pounds. These have little arrows on them and you want to look at the arrows in your reflection, not facing on. And you pick the um, arrow that's facing away from your face. So these two will go like this and you swap. So when I'm doing this half, I use this one because it goes this way. And when I'm using this half, I use this one and go this way. Just detach the styling heads by just pushing down on this button and they just pop straight off. You put your styling head on. So as you can see, this arrow is facing that way. I'm going to use it on this side of the hair. So basically you just want to take a section of the hair, not too big. Um, but also not like really small so about this much for me um the dyson air wrap works on every single hair type you can even work it on like curly hair all lengths all thicknesses all colors everything so i get asked all the time about whether it's suitable for thin hair it really is you just have to take a section of your hair that seems right trial and test it maybe you don't split your hair up as much um but it will definitely definitely work if it's not working for you yet, please keep being persistent because I truly think that if you're not getting the results, it's probably because you're not using the device to its optimum potential. So you literally take the piece of hair, turn the machine on, put the device next to the hair and it'll literally suck it up. So what I do is at the end, I roll the hair a bit. So just keep hold of the top. In the very end, I just roll. This just gives a bit more like definition in the bottom um, and it might help with staying power for the curls if you keep trying. Put the hair to the top of the head and hold it on the hot second for a few seconds. And if you push this button up, it blasts cold air. Hold that for a few seconds and let the curls set. This is really important 
make sure you cold blast it so the curl can set. If your curls aren't staying and you're not using the cool setting, then make sure you are. I literally just turn the machine off and pull the curl out. And there you go. So yeah, you basically just do that and repeat it all on this side and then we'll switch the nozzle and do the other side. Take a section of the hair, make sure it's not got any knots in it, you can always brush it through again. Take the device, hold it through the hair and it'll just suck it up. It does all the work for you. And just let it go. And there you go. Now all this side's done, I'm going to swap this for this one to do this side of the hair. And again, you just take a section, turn the device on, the hair closed, and it literally wraps it up. The exact same, I just focus on the bottom a little bit, like so. Remember to cool blast. Turn it off. Let it go. It's so easy, and obviously it'll take me a bit longer because I'm filming, but I can literally do my hair in like 15 minutes. So it's a very quick, very done up hairstyle. <laughs> the top section of your hair down give it a brush through and then put your parting in wherever it goes because obviously if it's a side parting you're going to be using more of this side using the barrel that faces that way whereas with, with mine it's the middle parting so it's going to be pretty much even so then literally just the same steps again just take a section of the hair um need to swap this back and then with the front bits, I focus more on the bottom than the top because obviously I want this top bit to be shaped around my face a little bit more. But just the same steps. Take it, hold it near, and it'll just suck the hair up. And then let go. And obviously the curl is crazy at the minute, but it will go looser and we're also going to comb them out. The tighter the curl, the better at the start because obviously going to be playing with it and things and we don't want to like mess with it too much and it drop out completely so the tighter the curl the better just take the section of hair just turn the machine off and there you go so final bit on this side So that side's done and now just swap the barrels back over and finish off this side. So as I say, make sure there's no knots and it's nice and smooth. I'll show you how to deal with the back bits in a minute. Okay, so when dealing with the back bit, I literally just take sort of the back bit of hair. It will already be slightly curled because it'll have been caught by the others, but I just like this one going backwards. So take the back bit of hair that I want and then give it a little brush through. And then you've got to kind of like take it at the side, like so, let it scoop it up. And then put some volume in at the top of the hair like that. There we go. This is the hair when it's like freshly styled. And a lot of people have been asking me, how do I get them to stay? Because they feel like when they've done one side, the other side's dropped. Well, you can see that by doing that technique, 
it doesn't drop it's very tight curls which is great now is when you need your wide tooth comb and what you do is you just very gently and i mean gently just comb through the curls because too much brushing or aggressive combing or anything will just pull the curls straight out but obviously i want them to be more bouncy and like hollywood glam so yeah just very gently comb them through like so obviously makes quite the difference doesn't it but yeah this is why the comb is definitely the best thing to use and you can just kind of comb them until they're styled together how you like them but it certainly makes a huge amount of difference when you comb them doesn't it like this side in comparison to this side so yeah this is what the hair looks like when it's all done and combed out i personally just think this is the best my hair ever looks when i have the bouncy blow dries so what i do after they have been combed through is just spray a little bit of hairspray on i feel like this is a complete personal preference thing because for some people hairspray is like too heavy and it makes the hair drop and for other people hairspray is like a necessity otherwise they don't stay i feel like products obviously help they aid but this device is all in like the technique and the setting of the curl and that's how you kind of get like this look it's not just through the hairspray it's through the way that you use the device and that's how you get this like bouncy blow look um, so yeah I wait until I've curled them then I apply a little bit of hairspray and that is literally it that is all I use and this baby does all the work for me these waves will drop a little bit during the day get a little bit looser um, but they will still stay curly I find and I can probably get between two and three day really good days out of a blow dry and then sometimes a little bit more with a much looser wave i sleep with my hair in a twisty bun that helps maintain the curls it really is so easy and i know it's e it's easy for me to say that now i've had some practice but if you are struggling with your air wrap keep persevering and if you're thinking about buying one if you have the means to get one get one because they are just so amazing they will change your hair the way it styles it's le it's less um damaging for your hair so if you're trying to repair your hair or grow your hair they're amazing i just absolutely adore i just absolutely adore my hair wrap i rave about it all the time if you don't already follow me on instagram then you won't have seen my reels but i have been making reels to do with the air app and um i've also got a highlight over there with like top tips and tricks and there's like a q a on there so if you are struggling at all or you want to check that out then of course go and check out my instagram yeah i really hope that you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful and useful um, and just seeing how the dyson air app works as i say if you did enjoy this video please give it a huge thumbs up so that i know to make more videos like this and that you enjoy hair care and styling videos um, also please don't forget to subscribe um, I would love to have you join my little community here on YouTube we are ever growing I'm so grateful for, it, for the people that do subscribe to my channel so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video